Brentech, yeah, where tech is made simple. So we also have the Windows 11 Patch Tuesday updates um, rolling out for the month of October. And as mentioned previously, these were also made available in my region on the 11th. That was late yesterday. Now, um, this is the first month. We have two cumulative updates rolling out for Windows 11. And for Windows 11 version 21H2, that's update KB5018418. And this is also the very first cumulative update we have rolling out for version 22H2, which um, version 22H2, as many of you know, was released um, last month in September. So this is the first patch Tuesday update we get, KB5018. 427. Now um, the updates are very similar and um, are exactly the same when it comes to the security fixes that have rolled out. And as many of you know, the Patch Tuesday updates that do roll out are mainly security fixes and um, they will be downloaded and installed automatically. And as mentioned for Windows 11 version 22H2, that's 5018427, which is the first Patch Tuesday update. Now, just to mention those fixes again, um, for Windows 10 and 11, they really are the same uh, fixes that have rolled out. But just to do a quick recap, um, 64 vulnerabilities have been addressed. Nine are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is an important security update. Eight of those critical vulnerabilities are remote code execution vulnerabilities that have been fixed. And one of those is a Hyper-V elevation of privilege vulnerability. So um, important to get this update installed sooner than later. Now, um, that's more or less what's rolled out for those two updates for this month when it comes to security fixes. But if you didn't install the optional updates that rolled out near the end of last month for both um, Windows 11 version 21H2 and version 22H2, then those um, improvements and fixes will be carried over um, with this update if you didn't install those updates. Now, just to do a quick recap, but because I'll leave both um, videos in the description. For Windows 11 21H2, that was update 5017383. And um, there were two new features. Um, the first was letting you authentic authenticate in apps and on websites without a password when you use remote desktop. And then they added more dynamic widgets content um, to the taskbar with notification badging on the taskbar. And then um, you would see that um, appear here as a notification on your widgets board. And then for version 22H2, that optional update was 5017389, which was very similar, but it had a couple of extra fixes. And I will just mention those quickly. Um, there were fixes for the Microsoft Store. Um, they corrected a daylight savings time uh, date for users in Chile. There were Internet Explorer mode issues that were addressed. There was an issue affecting the Microsoft Japanese IME that was addressed, task manager issues. And once again, they added more dynamic content to the taskbar with notifica notification badging as mentioned. And I actually found that, 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 that uh, um, the optional update that rolled out for Windows 11 late last month actually addressed a lot of issues and my system was a, was a whole lot stable and snappier after installing that update. So those fixes will be bundled with this update if you haven't, hadn't already installed that update. Now, um, because the updates are automatic, um, once you have upgraded your system um, if we just head over to winver you just type that in quickly for version 22h2 the os build will now be bumped up to 2261.674 and um, if you are running windows 11 version 21h2 still and um, that os build will be 22000.1098 so as mentioned the first month we get two uh, patch Tuesday updates for Windows 11 and then of course um, we get our first cumulative update for version 22H2 KB5018427. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.